out here putting some seals on them uh, bulkheads in there and trying to stop the leaking which is really almost pointless but I figure the water that I can keep in there keep it from draining down as fast they're gonna make a mess with it regardless but this is the area that burned up that stuff yesterday over here digging through the ashes now I threw some water on it just to cool everything off but it's a pretty muddy mess now but you got a good little little bit of space so now what we're gonna do is take the fence up and move it down it's not gonna be today probably this weekend but I'm planning to bring it down right there maybe a little bit further so I can burn that with the fence up but bring it down my goal is to come to this corner right here straight out from it along the property line which is about where that tree is with a marker on it I might just come on down there but I'm um, that property is mostly a field it's owned by a church down the road and so they don't use any of this wooded area over here that's theirs so I'm going about five feet or so past the property line and putting up temporary electric fence and letting them clear and root and clean all that up and then when I go and put my permanent fencing up I'll come back and put it right along the property line that way there will be a spot clear it up on the other side where I can run a mower through there but that's the plan I'm gonna run permanent fencing down and then there's gonna be a gate right through here eventually and then I'm gonna fence off a big section of this and just turn them loose in it Got a lot of stuff cut down but I'm gonna burn a lot of that up but a big a big section of this is gonna get fenced off with the uh, electric fencing and I'm just gonna Turn them loose. Let them go out there and root, and eat, and breed, and do all kind of stuff. But that's the plan. And then I'm going to go back and cut some trees down and burn a bunch of stuff. And then I'll downsize my uh, pig operation later on. And hopefully this will be usable for something other than growing trees and weeds. I'd like to stick a cow or two back here next year. And or the year after or whenever and go from there this pen right here looks kind of like a mess but uh it's got a big brush pile on it that needs burnt it's got stuff growing up around it but that's where the the uh, pot bellies are at right now if you can see them up there Got four pot belly pigs and a trio of chickens in there. Can't really see it, but in that mess is their little barn. So I'll try to get in there with a the lawnmower this weekend and get that cleaned up. Oh, and my gourds. The holes are on the other side, but those are my gourds I grew last year. Little chicken tractor on the other side. But that's where we're at. I like to walk around back here and just think about what's next. What's really cool, you can go back and uh, look at some of the older videos and see what this looked like before we run the pigs through it the first time, before we put up any kind of fencing. Um, and see what a lot of this stuff looked like a little over a year ago. And uh, it's, it's came a long ways. It's a slow process, but it's came a long ways. So... 
If you want to check back, check out the old videos. Tell me what you think. Hit the subscribe button. Follow us along. I'm going to try to keep documenting this right here for no reason other than document it for myself something for me to look back on something for the wife and the kids to look back on and see what we had here in 2022 and 23 and you gonna find that electric fence come down here to see what i'm talking about but that's it for now hit that subscribe button follow along leave a comment tell me what you think y'all have a blessed day